Somebody left an angry comment on my Kentucky Kingdom video that I released recently saying, holy rant, Batman. They were responding to the fact that I made a video where all I did was go on tangents for 26 minutes or whatever the length was of that Kentucky Kingdom video, um, talking very little about relevant information. And this time it's 53 minutes, oh my. Um, and this time Holiday World will be the backdrop. Holiday World is my park that let me try again holiday world is the park that houses my favorite roller coaster of all time the voyage but i'm not sure how much time i'll actually be talking about it this video because just like in my kentucky kingdom video i'm like i've already released a full park walkthrough of this and i know it was two years ago and i know how the youtube algorithm works but i'm not as motivated to say okay here's you know turkey gobbler or whatever the fuck the ride is called and stuff i just feel like kind of rambling this time and that's what i'm going to do i'm revisits to my parks there's only uh two more after this those of you who hate this series so don't fucking worry because after that i'm going on a 30 no actually it's not 30 park it's only 24 park road trip uh in the northeast new england and on those i'll kind of go back to sometimes going on tangents rather than the entire fucking video um, as you see, um, we went from the middle of nowhere to the only thing in that middle of nowhere that really honestly matters at all, and it's Holiday World and Splash and Safari. Um, we are, as usual in, in these latest videos, including way too, hey, don't get hit by cars, motherfucker. Uh, we are, um, as usual in videos like this, uh, doing way too much parking, speed limit 15, way too slow. We need more wrecks, make it 40. Um, where I just include way too much fucking footage of stuff that doesn't matter. Um, I think we're confused, we're slowing down here. I'm not really quite sure why, quite sure why. Um, um, abandoned little parking lot trolley thing over there. In fact, when I was coming here, I was really confused because this was my fourth year in a row coming to Holiday World. And uh, we always parked in that lot near the park or something. We never came around this way. And I'm like, where are we? What the fuck? Is this the same Holiday World I remember? And it, it turns out that it was, believe it or not. Uh, except we're just taking like the long route from hell there. Anyway, this footage is outdated as a son of a bitch. It's uh, from June 2023, my third year in a row that I visited Hollywood Nights. And I broke that streak this year, even though Colson and I both were F5-ing our hearts out, or prepared to rather, um, when Hollywood Nights tickets came up for 2024, we weren't aware that when tickets were open at 11 a.m. that they were sold out by 10.52 a.m. We didn't get the time zones wrong. They were just sold out eight minutes before the fucking sale started. And those of you, you know, those, those people who, you know, have insider knowledge about, you know, all these schemes and shit were, you know, buying their tickets in advance. I can't really be salty because I've experienced this event three times, including in 2022 when it was like you had to win a lottery to be in, invited and, and we could just marathon everything without even getting out of the train. I got to do all of that, so it's okay to pass the torch over to other motherfuckers this year. But still, what an event, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't go this year because now, well, now I know. Next year when tickets go on sale at 11 a.m., I'll be F5-ing at 5.30 a.m., motherfucker. I'm going to Hollywood nights next year. I can take a year off, but it's pissing me off because my plan was to visit this fucking park every year for the rest of my life, and they're fucking around, not, you know, not admitting me to Hollywood nights. Anyway, it's an event everyone should attend once, but quite honestly, the park is a, is a treat regardless of when you go, so don't, you know. God damn, how much of this bullshit did I fucking record? We're, we're like four minutes in, we're still in the goddamn parking lot. Man, this is going to be a long one. Um, wow, okay. Well, uh, let's see. I have the RCDB page loaded up, and like last, uh, last time when I went to Kentucky Kingdom, I'm going to start by talking about what coasters are not here from back it was when it was a uh, Santa Claus land and then decided, well, Christmas is too boring of a holiday to dedicate an entire park to, so let's add Halloween and we're driving again. What the hell? Wait a minute, I need to like skim forward. What even was all of that? Did we go to the wrong shit? Why are we on the highway now? Are these out of order? I bet you these... <laughs> ah, this shit's out of order. Are you out of your... Wait a minute. It's going to... Is it going to loop this entire thing twice? Wow. I just put the same footage twice. And I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just talk over the exact same footage again. Because, look, you want professionalism. I'm going to give it to you. Wow, this is worthless. All right. Well, um... All of you already clicked out anyway, so we're just going to go for a second time. <laughs>
Oh no. <laughs> I record all these videos in one take and I set up this thing for the voiceover like th four months ago from footage from 10 months ago. There's a bird and three birds and, and, and look, I'm not going to do this again and set it up. We're going to just, just skip forward or something. I don't know, or click out. You, I already get pretty shit retention on my videos anyway. Oh my god, this is... All right, so um, I'll continue with what I was saying, I guess. Oh, fuck. Um, so from my Kentucky Kingdom video, I hope this doesn't happen again where I end up having like footage from like fucking Six Flags Magic Mountain thrown in there by accident. I thought I put my GoPro shit in alphabetical order. and. Wait a minute, that's right, you can't put GoPro videos in alphabetical order because they have this most stupid fucking numbering system where after 5 minutes and 20 seconds, when it gets to like 4 gigabytes or something, it'll go from 100690 to 200690 or some fucking shit like... Hmm, okay. Well, so let's uh, drive up to the front of Hol Holiday World for a second time. And uh, let's talk about what used to be here. Uh, back when it was called Santa Claus Land. I didn't forget what I was talking about for a change. Uh, we had a children's roller coaster. Uh, and it says, RCDB says, removed, comma, operated. And it has no dates. So I can't even tell you when children's roller coaster was here. But it was an Alan Herschel Little Dipper. Um, who fucking cares? What else did they also have here? Only one other. Firecracker. Opened 1981. Closed 1987. A Pinfari Zyklon. That couldn't be less interesting. Where did it go? <coughs> Jolly Roger Amusement Park. Where's that shit? Operated for one season and then went fucked. Uh, in Ocean City, Maryland. What a, what a tragic... Oh, it started in Geauga Lake, though. Okay. So, failed, gave up, and failed. Good lifetime for that firecracker roller coaster. Alright, so um, here's us... Okay, are we a little further? Hey, at least we're walking rather than driving now. My fucking god. Check out all these license plates you can dox. Um, don't. I mean, actually, I don't even know really to what extent you, what you can do um, with doxing random license plates. But look, this is just raw footage. I know it's super exciting. You know, parking lot walking. And we're 7 minutes and 20 seconds into this fucking video. And look, it's just kind of only going to get worse from here. I'm drinking um, a drink that I can't fucking believe I can buy in the regressive state of Louisiana. I got from my grocery store Jet Life THC soda, 50 milligrams of THC. I remember splitting a half of a can of one of these with my fucking girlfriend the other night and we were just knocked on our asses. And I have a full can in front of me and I'm on two gummies, so this video is going to probably corrupt a lot along the way and I hope you're still here for the ride because I know at this point only about according to metrics I should only expect about 25% of you to still be listening at this point and these other 75% are already now like clicking next or watching a Mar Marquise Brownlee video or something something that has nothing to do with this or you know like an actual channel like Canopy Coaster anyway um yeah um so we're drinking this drink and I'm gonna have to drink it slowly because I don't want to fuck my life up uh, it tastes pretty good. It's like a fucking grape lemonade. Anyway, so look, uh, Good Gravy is their newest thing, and you're not going to see Good Gravy footage in this video, so um, that's irrelevant, right? So I'm following the theme of the video. Let me click on it. I mean, I watched the POV, and my goodness, the amount of marketing that Holiday World did for, for, for Good Gravy, I, it was like they were hyping up that they added a fucking B&M giga to this goddamn park. Like, showing like eight different kinds of POVs and hiring Coaster Force to make good. Dude, there's a documentary I saw, I forget where, it, where it's called, but like the dude like showing how Coaster Force made all his videos and shit, Zoomer loopers or something. It's a good ass video, you should track that shit down, it's pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm not even sure what all of that driving around was anymore, because now we're, we're going in from the familiar entrance that I went to the other three times that I went to this park. The reason that I'm like having trouble remembering what's going on here now is because I had been the Holiday World enough times and I was comfortable with the park. I knew it like the back from the back of my hand or whatever. And I went in absolutely faded. I mean, I was high off my shitting hell in this park. And this is me recording the GoPro footage like that. And um, I gotta tell you what, the most spoiled fucking thing in the world is being a roller coaster enthusiast like myself, high as shit, 
in the mecca of wooden roller coasters with only enthusiasts. Like there's nothing sweeter than like seven o'clock, eight o'clock comes in and then they have to kick out all of the normies out of the park and make them go home. And they leave behind only people who are absolutely bad shit like myself. I mean, it's a real treat. And I'll, I mean, I will be back. I'm, I'm kind of salty that, that I didn't know about the sold out T negative eight minutes bullshit. But you know, it is what it is. There's Raven. Um, I think in this video I actually show Raven footage. Last video, I think I showed that shot and the front gate and I just walked away and ignored Raven for the entire rest of the fucking video. Um, well, there's the sky. Good foot, good filming. You know, two years in. The, the, the holiday world, my, my first video on this channel was in holiday world and it was pretty poor filming and it's been two years. I've had two years of growth since that video because you know, it was two years ago and whatnot. And you can see it's not any better. This is still really bad footage. I mean, it's 4K, but other than that, it's like no K, it's not okay. This is bad footage. And I'm really proud of my bad footage and my 490 subscribers that I've gained in two years, you know, really good growth. Hey, at least my subscriber count is higher than the number on my channel name or something. Uh, yeah, Halloween, Halloween houses, uh, Hey, look, look over there. It's a fucking tree. Um, uh, I wonder what they were pointing to. I could rewind and like try to... Oh, I could also just turn around. Oh, no, I didn't go the whole way, so I can't find out what that boy and his dad were pointing to. That's fucked up. Anyway, that's the exit. Um, and we're going down. Um, and I remember just like last video, I'm sitting here not even knowing what to talk about because it's just walking from here to Raven. And there's absolutely fuck all to talk about between here and Raven. Um, and you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and just lie about trying to go on every tangent ever because this video is going to be long as balls. I might as well actually talk about Holiday World for two seconds. Um, I've never been on that flat. I've been at this park for four, four times and I never knew that flat was there. Even though I've been on Raven and Legend Lifetime like 70 times each, um, I didn't know that flat was there. Down there, um, people jump on diving boards in Speedos and swim and people sit around and watch that. That might be the most shit attraction <laughs> I've ever seen in a fucking amusement park. I know there's people who like it and I'm the asshole for not liking it and shit, but who pays a bunch of money to go to a park with the best coaster of all time and spends any of their goddamn time watching people on a diving board? When was the last time you were on a diving board in a swimming pool? 1997? Like, who, who thinks about diving boards and... I mean, I guess people who like to see men in Speedos, but more power to you. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. Maybe next lifetime I, I'll like Speedo dicks more, but not this time. So, you know, I mean... Anyway, over there they have, um... <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna sip of this fucking drink. Where every sip is like... A portion which is fucking hilarious because the way they get around it is uh, with the hemp laws in Louisiana they they allow up to eight milligrams of THC per serving so these fucking hilarious assholes made a fucking 355 milliliter can and they made it have 12 servings so it's like a big Red Bull can basically or not a big Red Bull like a normal size energy drink can and it has 12 servings of nine calories each so every sip is a fucking serving yeah um this, I'm pretty sure this shit is not going to be legal in Louisiana soon because the fucking people are, are going to figure it out in Congress and shit because Louisiana never gets to keep anything cool. Um, Splashing saf splash in Safari, I actually did go to it for the first time um, in Hollywood Nights. I went to the, e I didn't go to the ERT, I missed the ERT. So I ended up just going straight up in the beginning of my second day there and I regret it completely. Um, like, I overslept, so all of my friends were in the park already without their phones, because their phones were in the fucking locker. So I couldn't communicate with anybody. I just showed up, and, oh, I was alone, and had to wait in 45 minutes for a ride to close, and then an hour to finally get on something, and having, like, a, a stranger's wet feet, like, kicking my back, because you have to, like, ride rafts with others and stuff. I'm like, God damn, this sucks. Why am I here? And I, I persevered for about two hours of that trash, not knowing where my friends were, not knowing where my fun was. And I was like, I'm going to go back to this park now. I know it's award winning and all that, but I can't name any attraction there because the, it, it, I fucked up. I guess I just really fucked up visiting the water park there, but I had no fun at all. Um, 
but that's not why I'm here ever really in the first place. I'm here to uh, get free fucking sodas from the Oasis machine and occasionally ri ride Legend, Thunderbird, Raven, and uh, Voyage. And once every few years, Howler. But, I mean, come on, man. Howler, who cares about that shit? And I guess good gravy now. I can't wait to get this generic credit fucking family boomerang that they've advertised, as I said, like... Like they, like they got a new B and M Giga or something. Ten, ten cocksucking million dollars. It cost them ten million dollars to build that. Aren't like mid RMCs like twelve million dollars? Airy Sports One was eighteen million dollars. That kind of investment. They fucking haven't had a coaster in nine years, and they invested ten million into a family boomerang. Oh man, I hope we don't have to wait till twenty thirty three for them to try again. That's balls. What the hell? I mean, I, um, I hope families enjoy it because it's going to add nothing to my Holiday World experience. But the good thing about Holiday World is that we have Raven over here. Um, and it is... I'm one of the weirdos. I like Raven more than fucking Legend. They're number 26 and 27 in my rankings. But I'll tell you what. One of the things that makes this great is, look, that motherfucking Raven is going to go onto your face and steal your shit. Please make sure to get glasses straps at the... Dude, that sign, that red sign... I, if they sold just that sign, including the glasses straps are available in the gift shop thing. <laughs> Safety first. Um, I would buy that sign. That's been a hundred dollars. That red sign right there. I think that's the most random fucking sign. Imagine taking, I already told, made this joke, I think in my last video, but whatever. Here in this video, you actually get to see the sign. Put that somewhere in my house with no context at all. That right there is a conversation starter if I've ever seen one. Like, What's this random bird stealing your glasses? What's that about? That's kind of fucked. Actually, it's not even as random anymore because my girlfriend moved in and she has five parrots and I decided I wanted one too. So now there's six birds in the house. So I guess a bird house is a little more relevant or something. Anyway, Raven is... Um, uh, I, wait, I can't tell you about Raven. I enjoy it. I'm not going to tell you much more about that. Then, If you want to go uh, watch more information about Raven, go to my other video that I may or may not put an end card too and, and no, i'm not gonna be an asshole raven um it feels like a more um cohesive kind of like complete experience i think than legend i guess or something and it just satisfies me in a certain way like legend is objectively a better roller coaster like engineering wise and doing shit and laterals and whatever but like raven just i don't know kind of just satisfies me it's like almost like legend goes a little too long my friend said i don't know if i agree with that but i don't know something about raven just mildly takes care of me more than legend and now i'm going in the wrong direction we've had enough shit away from the roller coasters why the christ am i walking away back to the front really i don't want to i don't want to record more footage around benches and gift shops and god damn it all right well um i guess i might as well just uh um what Parks are nearby. Holiday World. One of my favorite features uh, in RCDB is clicking the Parks Nearby feature. Um, so, Lark Ranch. What the fuck is Lark Ranch? They have a Jetstar family. Uh, wow, I don't care. I don't care. Um, and Kentucky Kingdom is nearby too. I Every year that I've gone to Holiday World, really, I just went to Kentucky Kingdom too because it's an hour away. But I don't think next time I go visit Holiday World, I'm going to Kentucky Kingdom. Like, I've just gotten my fix of Lightning Run and uh, Storm Chaser. Unless they add, like, something really amazing, which could happen, I guess, now that it's a Hershen Park. But that park has a long way to go to look like a Hershen Park, I, I gotta tell you. And then what else is near there? A Stricker's Goddamn Grove, 145 miles away. Totally worth the 145-mile detour in um wrong wrong park that's not stricker's grove i'm thinking of beach bend i'm fucking high as you yeah um i want to visit stricker's grove but you have to fucking it's like four days a year they're open and you have to just go on one of those days and then it's slammed because it's never open for other people oh those are my friends there okay see i haven't actually been alone this whole time there's colson and he's wearing oh i think this is the day that he was wearing a fucking little america shirt which is the most abhorrent t-shirt i've ever seen it's the worst piece of coaster merch ever and that's why he bought it because it's so bad i think that's the shirt he's wearing i know he wore it on one of the two holiday world days anyway um at least there's something a little different in this video versus the last time i did another fucking holiday world video and that is the fact that 
we are going to this part of the park at all, which I completely neglected and ignored. So I guess I can talk on topic for a second because it's new footage for my channel, yay. To the right there, uh, Santa's whatever. We got a nice overpriced cup of really overly sweet coffee. Um, and it was, you know, it was all right. Um, the food, food in there is all right, but like, I'll be honest with you. Uh, if I'm at Holiday World for three days, or two days or, or something. I'm gonna visit the Thanksgiving place six times and visit there none. I mean, like, it's all about the Thanksgiving. Outdoor dining, and we just went there to fucking hit our fucking vape. Um, wait, they had a section. We had a, we, we didn't do it like illegally or something. They had a section where you could smoke. Maybe it wasn't that one, but uh, yeah, we stayed high. And uh, Holiday World's the shit for that shit. They don't give a fuck about the shit. And, um, so we're going to the worst part of Holiday World right now that um, I don't blame myself for not filming footage here last time, but I guess here I'm just trying to just drag out this video for as long as it could possibly go. So we're going to the lamest holiday holiday of the year, the 4th of July, and I think all they really have here is just like some lame-ass flats, and I think, the, <laughs> I think the highlight of this part of the park is freaking Howler, which, you know... Mm. Um, there are like some, some some flats that are I guess okay and I want to say this is the part of the park where we all have to like walk when uh, they clear the park out of all the normies uh, and congregate and they feed us uh, Thanksgiving food but in a different format like like cafeteria style for all of the nerds who paid a bunch of money to have the park to themselves every June in, um, at night at Hollywood nights and shit. And, uh, and I, I don't know what that area is called, so I can't even tell you more information about that. And I'm going to stop knowing the names of things even more now, because I'm getting progressively more fucking high, and I'm having more of this can of shit. Oh my god, I'm about to be wrecked. <clears throat> okay, Boston Tea Party? God, I don't like that. Uh, yeah, what the, oh, that carousel, I didn't know that was there. It's because I don't care about this part of the park. Those fucking lanyards, by the way, I hate them shits, man. They like they make us wear them, and then and then they like poke you. They're sharp. They're like fucking razor sharp. So you're riding a wood coaster, Star Snake. Wow, I hate that name. I don't remember seeing it, so I must have been shat when I. My God, this is all like. I mean, I recognize my friends at least, Lacey Colton and Michael, because. They, um, I convinced them all. I convinced Lacey and Michael to come as our guests for Hollywood Nights because I want my friend, my, my closest friends, to see like the coolest shit, which is Voyage, which is the coolest shit. And um, apparently, so, the two of us found it necessary to subject my friends to this pointless part of the park right here. I think it might have actually been me subjecting them to this part of the park because. Um, I needed to record my GoPro footage that I'm now like not even remembering what I filmed or abandoned it for 10 months. I mean, this is literally, it's actually 11 months old, this footage at this point, because it was June 2023. 20, and I'm trying to get this, uh, my Kentucky Kingdom, Indiana Beach, and uh, I already got Kentucky Kingdom, and Kings Island, yeah, videos out uh, soon as shit because I want to then have the videos for my 24 parks I'm visiting in New England and shit. Liberty Launch, by the way, that looks like the lamest ass fucking drop tower. Oh, what did I just flip off? Um, yeah, that, oh, I think we, we let her get on that or something as you smile. Mind you, who cares about that shit? Um, three point challenge. Um, God, just fire. I don't know about any of these attractions. Like, I said that I, I said that I know. Holiday World, like the back of my hand, but Independence Hall, I don't even know what's in it. Is this redemption games or food or prostitutes? I have no idea what you'll find in there. Uh, so honestly, I'm kind of discovering this part of the park with you, even though I allegedly, I thought I knew this park. I guess I don't. Um, so, Holla Dogs Fun Town. I have to say, for all of the mascots a park can have, Holla Dog is like simultaneously the worst and the best fucking mascot for an amusement park it's such a nothing um also we totally rode the holla dog express and i want to say i'm not sure if it's true or not but i want to say that we have footage on the holla dog express and it's not exciting and i'm and i'm gonna be here and not be excited with you because that's what i do in this channel i just ramble in one take and hope that the video lands and um quite honestly 
I'm not really expecting this video to land, but look, I'm trying, and all that matters these days is that you try and you win awards and stuff, and I want my award. Man, fucking give me my award. Um, like, apparently at 500 subscribers, you can, like, do a few things with the monetization on the channel, but, like, they don't matter. Like, I think it allows people to send you super thanks, but none of you are going to send me super thanks, so I don't even know if I'll enable it. Um, hey, look, Holla, Holla Dog Express, yay, happy, happy, beep, beep. Wait, what do trains do? They don't beep, they, um, vroom, vroom. What do trains do? Honk, honk, what? Hey, Google, what sound does a train make? Hmm, nothing like that. What the fuck? Try again. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What sound does a train make? This is a train. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it makes that sound all right thank you thank you google and it's showing a picture of a train too it's pretty it's a beautiful location that the train is in hot diggity dogs see that sounds like the name of a hot dog place in your park that you built with no effort in roller coaster tycoon i mean doesn't it like who didn't Named their fast food places in Roller Coaster Tycoon terrible ass shit like that. Ew, I'm filming like water and children and shit. Yes, pan down. Let's go. Nobody wants to see that fucking shit. Good, man. I don't want my channel to have all kinds. Oh, no. Go away. What is she telling me right now? She's like, stop fucking around. That wouldn't be the first time that my friends told me to stop fucking around because I'm a mess. The only reason we're here anyway is to get on Howler. and I Yeah, there it is. There's fucking. It's like a different color than it used to be or something. I don't know, man. Wasn't it yellow before? Dude, now I gotta check on fucking... Was Howler a different color? I was gonna ask Google if Howler was a different color. Like, how would it ever know the answer to that? That's stupid. Oh, it used to be yellow. Okay, okay. So it's not like fake news that Holiday, Holla Dog's roller coaster used to be a fucking yellow roller coaster. That's absolutely incredibly interesting. Man, it's a... Uh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite model of a roller coaster ever, too. It's the Sam Perla Gravity 80 STD Sexually Transmitted Disease Family Coaster. That's absolutely horrible. Oh God. Oh, dude, I, ooh, that wasn't funny. Um, disregard that. I, I, I was hoping a joke would land in there, and it didn't. And I don't want to complete the joke. That's really nasty. It's a 262 foot long roller coaster, and it sucks. So, uh, do I recommend Howler? Only for the credit. And I can't believe I wrote it again. But, you know, uh, some, sometimes you need to make sacrifices for, for the greater good or something. Or the coaster community. I don't know. There, there might, there's some logic as to why we should give some energy to entertaining Holla Dog. And look, we're about to do it again. Um, and we actually are about to write this fucking shit. Oh, God. This is some shit ass footage. Oh my. All right, so let's, uh, I'll probably just go into my coaster rankings and just go on a diversion hunt of, for new content to talk about. So, the, all of the coasters that matter in this park, of which Howler and Good Gravy are not included, um, are all in my top 50. And that's pretty remarkable for such a small park. I mean, I just cannot believe how much I enjoy this park, like, in general, and I, I'm i going to make it a point to be here. I tr I'm trying to do every year, but this year they fucked my ass with the Hollywood Nice thing, and I'm going to, you know, rebel by not going to the park. No, it's really because I can't logically find a way to include Holiday World in a road trip that's going to include Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, of all places. That's where one of our hotels would be. Maine, Connecticut. Yeah, I think I just need to pass on Indiana this year because I'm going to go from a lot of debt to a lot, a lot of debt um, after that trip. And I just can't really include Holiday World in this stuff. Oh, look, we're doing a backwards run. Mm, that's going to add so much more uh, in entertainment for the viewer to watch a backwards two mile per hour train in a... Hey, Google, play the sound of a train. I just want to hear that sound again. Here's a video. Wait, I don't want a video. I want you to put... Hey, fuck off. Fuck. Oh. Dude, they won't shut the fuck up. Hey, Google. Stop. God damn. Fucking shut the fuck up. All right. Um, I think I'm looking for the first time at this footage with you because I wasn't paying attention to any of it. All I did was get on it to record so that you could watch. <laughs> 
Yeah, like 10, no, wait, 11 months ago, and it's taken me that long to put this backwards train footage because I know people have been really craving it for a long ass time, you know? And I'm finally bringing it to you, and it's really hard to keep the sarcasm going about this topic because nobody gives an isosahedral motherfuck about what I'm recording right now, barely even myself. That was just the top of the train. I don't even know what I was doing. There was like, like scratching my back or something. I just like kind of let the GoPro go wherever it was going. <laughs> oh God. Uh, <laughs> who's that guy? That's the most random. That car over there is more going down the road is more interesting than these sheep and shit. Are these like the pilgrim bullshit? Like I don't care. Nobody cares. Is. What is any of this? I, you know what's what's bad is that I guarantee you during this train ride, the person driving the thing is probably telling you what's up. Honestly, that intersection is my favorite. Look, oh, they put a fence. That's, that fence should have gone a little further because I was about to say that that intersection in Santa Claus, Indiana, is my favorite part of the backwards train ride in the holiday world. Just a little toolbox there, a little fire extinguisher. Hey, there's the road again. Let's go, road. And gravel and shit, filming it badly. Hey, look, it's nothing. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm gonna have more of my alcohol. It's not even alcohol. I'm actually. Ooh, should I add alcohol to this mix? Um. Hmm. I have to go to another room and get a shot, and then I have to either pause it or just disappear for like 20 seconds to go get it. What should I do here? You know what? I'll see y'all in like 20 seconds. I have a bottle of rum in the other room. Give me a sec. already fucking do that shit all right um anyway we're smiling i guess because we got off holiday dog express time anyway i got a bottle of rum give me a sec <coughs> god it tastes like shitting ass floor de Kanye. oh god oh there's a reason it's still here and i haven't bought alcohol in a while because i've had trouble finishing it because it sucks oh i had water yeah let's go Oh God, what a piece of shit. Why did I even do that? Why did I just dedicate like 90 seconds of this video to that nonsense? Ooh. Ow, and the water I drank, like I fucking swallowed hard now. It feels like I got punched in the chest. That's fucked up. I mean, that's just too fucked up. Anyway, I just saw a Holiday World employee. So let's go on that tangent. Um, Holiday World has some really badass employees. Like they, the people here are just fun as fuck. And the epitome of the the best things are is uh, the my favorite ride operator at any amusement park, Rita, who does the uh, Hollywood Nights thing, and she's always like the leader of the choo choo train, like going down the voyage with the pilgrim, like whoa whoa whoa, row 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 your boat or whatever the fuck they're doing when it departs, and um and she was part of convincing me that I'm fucking around having the voyage as my number two, which it was at the time. And I made it my number one, and then I let her know that, and she was like, number one, where it should be. And I'm like, let's fucking go, man. And uh, <laughs> I was going to talk about the Oasis thing last time when I was pointing to it, but I got distracted by the smoking area and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's where we definitely smoke marijuana. I sh should I be doxing myself? It's not like anybody cares. Anybody who wants to investigate what I look like, and then they find me the day I show up. If they If they kick me out of the park for that, then I deserve it. Anyway, Oasis, that's where you go if you want to get, like, a lot of free drinks. And look, I like to drink, on average, two goddamn gallons of water a day because I drink water, like, like a, like a lot, okay? And, and Holiday World lets me do that. I'll, I'll, like, double fist cups of water walking around the park. And then occasionally, each machine has, like, one or two different sodas. If I see, like, some obscure-ass soda in the Oasis near Thunderbird, then, like, I'll have a few sips of that and, like... It has like 5% more value to my day. Like, it's a great addition to the park. And uh, if other places did it, that'd be really nice. But they won't because Holiday World's run by cool people and Six Flags and Cedar Fair and shit are run by corporate fuckers and shit. But, you know, you, you 
can't win sometimes, but here you can win. All you can do is win here. There's trash cans. Look at three trash cans in the span of like 20 feet. You know they care about people's safety. Wait, that's not... <laughs> Wait, people's um, trash not being on the floor like Singapore energy and stuff. Like, don't, don't litter or else fuck you. Um, down there um, is definitely where I recommend you put locker, your locker shit in there, like to the back left. Um, when I got lost and my friends couldn't find me, um, that's where my locker was. And it allows you to put away all your bullshit so you don't have to, like, when you marathon voyage, like, 84 times in a row. Um, which is totally, like, a doable thing in this park if you come on a good day, unlike this one. If you're on a Saturday, but the only reason we're here is because Hollywood Nights. Yeah, you can just put all your shit in there and then you have to go to the damn cubby to empty your pockets repeatedly. And you can do as I did. Um, when I didn't climb or walk on walls, like what I just said in that advisory, I don't do that. Um, I, I just sat it in the front row. The first time I was here when it wasn't Hollywood Nights in 2020, I just sat in the goddamn front row for like 20 rides in a row. And the park out there was like straight up counting. Like, all right, lap number 17. I was not quite zen riding. I did A couple of them were zens, but front row didn't get up for almost an hour straight. How the fuck wasn't it my number one at that point, regardless? I don't know. All I know is that that coaster with the trimless in the environment with all of the enthusiasts and stuff, it's really... I rank coasters based on my best ride I've ever... I hate this guy's shirt. Oh. If it depends, you leave. Oh, fuck off. Anyway, um... What was I talking about? <laughs> um... Yeah, it's the memories. That's right. That's right. I rank my favorite roller coasters based on the best ride I've ever had in each of them. So if there's conditions, if it rode backwards or if it was during Hollywood night or it derailed or whatever the event was that I found the, the, the best of those events, um, that's the one I rank against everyone else. And the only metric, the only metric is how happy did it make me feel? Where's my afterglow about it? Um, how, how does that top memory compare to the other top memory? And then I realized, well, nothing can even come close to this roller coaster. Um, the the rides I've had on on the voyage over the last four years, specifically that last one when I was with like with all of my best friends um, at the time before I met my girlfriend, because she's now absolutely in the best friends list. But anyway, the, uh, it's the and with other roller coaster enthusiasts like giving a high five at the coaster dash and shit. I mean, like it was just it, it, these are some of the biggest best mo memories of my life. Not just fucking amusement parks and shit, like, my life. Like, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to spend just unholy amounts of Timberliner. Nah, ha, ha, Timberliner shirt like that. Um, well, I'm going to spend unholy amounts of money. Gobbler, get away. Fuck that ride. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend exorbitant amounts of money for the rest of my life in this hobby because the memory you get when you're stoned out of your shit and you're traveling the world on the best scavenger hunt that's ever happened in humankind. I mean, goddamn. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm so close to finishing my U.S. version of the scavenger hunt. I said it in my last video, but I'll say it again to fill time. As I take this cup, I believe in... Yeah! The reason I knew that I do this thing with the cup is because I think I used, like, this three minutes of footage for, like, a different video seven months ago, but not the whole thing. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Um, And uh, I forget where I'm going with this. I'm just really talking in circles. And um, I'm gonna have more of this THC drink. I'm gonna have both. Look, I'm gonna have another shot of that nasty ass rum. You're gonna listen. Look, Gobbler Getaway can get fucked. I've never. Uh, I'll tell you what. That that's a contender for my least favorite amusement park attraction of all time. Worse than the worthless diving board motherfuckers. And it's right next to my favorite roller coaster ever, and my favorite fast food restaurant ever, which is you'll see it in a. It's not fast food. I said that wrong. Favorite amusement park restaurant ever. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm so high. My words are getting crazy. Hold on. I got this rum. Hold on. God, that tastes like assholes. What a piece of... Oh, what the fuck? I need better alcohol. I do have better alcohol. It's in a different room. Fuck. Plymouth Rock Cafe, though. Dude, I, I cannot stress enough. Um, even if you're not baked, you ride Voyage until you're about to throw up, and then when you actually need a break, you go in there and you eat, like, 
chicken and dump. By the way, it's not about the damn turkey and stuffing, which is all awesome. It's about the chicken and dumplings. That's the best thing on the menu. My friend is a complete food snob, the Michael with the purple shirt. Dude, in this video, he told me it was the best chicken and dumplings he's ever had in his life, and he's usually an asshole about food. So that right there is an endorsement as shit, wouldn't you say? And I already thought that before, so I can endorse it too. Um, the food in there is absolutely divine, and to have that in an amusement park in, in June is just the greatest. The sun's an asshole. Look at how bright that shit is. I always thought that this is just the craziest visual ever. Look at these supports. This is a wooden roller coaster. I mean, whenever any anybody who questions whether Gravity Group is my favorite manufacturer, which they definitely never do, um, but anyway, uh, you can't see why. Look at this thing. It yeets you. It's almost 200 feet tall, and it fucking sends you uphill through basically wooden hyper coaster shit fucks around at the top of the hill and then is a massive terrain coaster on the way back. It's like three roller coasters in one. It is, it's golden. Gravity Group, I, I need y'all to cancel these Zamperla contracts, these Vacoma contracts, and give them the Gravity Group. Parks that don't need it, just put more Gravity Groups in there. And honestly, it's been way too long since we've had a like an actual god-tier Gravity Group coaster, like ha uh, Hades and Voyage. Other than the bullshit in China, which you know, I'd love to ride, but China's fucked up to visit for roller coasters and probably for anything. Um, Xi Jinping sucks. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, we're, we're, I, I want Gravity Group to have big projects and more parks. And they're good. They're creative. The, the people who, does, who are designing Gravity Group roller coasters are absolutely enthusiasts because they're... St that you can just feel it. You can feel when a ride is designed with passion and stuff. And I mean, I might be full of shit because I've had a lot of a lot of this fucking stuff. And I'm halfway through this can, and my gummy that I took is is hitting on top of the existing one. And look, there's uh, Bunder Third, and um, look that bitch. That is easily the best of BNM Wing Coaster. And if you disagree, you can take a hard fuck you up your ass. Because that roller coaster right there, um, look, in the dark, in the woods, smooth as fuck, launched, it is just absolutely dreamy and a really unique experience, honestly, to have that kind of feeling on a BNM in the woods at night. Hey, how you doing? Let's celebrate the 4th of July. I think he was wearing a American flag shit. Um, the reason that I'm like, you hear me like pulling away from my mic probably maybe is because I ha I've never dusted off this, the mic and this like popper grabber whatever thing that you speak into into the mic. I mean, my allergies are shitting on my ass. Oh, wow, that's a great shot. That is a good shot. Let's watch that thing go through the loop. Yay! Wee! Like Rob Alvey. Oh, dude, I got in the. Um, Rob Alvey's a complete twat, but he does have a lot of excellent archival footage. And I was going through his like shit when he went to J China and Japan like a, a million years ago and stuff. And Man, I was watching Eagle Fortress. Dude, Eagle Fortress, it has to be in the top three most regretted missed credits. An arrow suspended that's absolutely batshit insane going down a hill, basically holiday world terrain, fast as fuck, damaging the track probably. I mean, that's some good shit. Um, but anyway, uh, Thunderbird though, um, I said this before in my last video and I'll say it again. Every B&M wing coaster built from now on needs a launch. A lift hill on this model coaster is stupid. It's fucked. Look, look at this being the beginning of the experience before it does a quick little inversion and then or two and then sends you into the fucking woods behind the Pepsi Oasis sign and snack house and shit. That right there is the beginning of a good experience with voids next to it and shit. You do not want a lift hill because a lift hill is not wing, bird, fly, raven, you know, it's a vroom, thunderbird, yeah, thunderbird, it's a bird, when you fly, you need a zoom, and oh my god, okay, hold on, hold on, I met these two kids who are something you know, on this train or something, and they saw my GoPro, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing, and I told them I'm recording for a, a failing YouTube channel, and I wrote down their names, I wrote down their names so that I wouldn't forget to mention them and I'm like going through my notes trying to figure it out in advance. Oh fuck, what is there? 
Oh, I'm not gonna find it, am I? I'm gonna have to like go into the comments later after I find it and write down their names. But they're gonna like show thumbs up and I'm gonna promise them that I'm gonna shout them out by name. Fuck, fuck, I'm, come on, where is it in the nose? I'm not gonna find it. I'm not gonna find it. That's fucked. It's them, it's those two kids. I promised I was gonna shout out their names and I know I wrote it down. Fuck. No, I'm so sorry, children whose names I forgot. I, I, I promise that I care about you. I totally like took this note. Fuck. I hate promising. See, like my least favorite thing in the world is to promise something to somebody and then not deliver because I think that's really inauthentic and really fucked up and really not how you're supposed to treat other people. And God damn it. I really thought I put it on this thing. Anyway, well, anyway, I, I think it, I'm spending way too much time being worried about that. But um, I'll, I'll put it in the comments when I learn their names again and shit. God darn fuck. Anyway, um, wow, how many, how many fucking minutes did I fucking fuck up worrying about that stuff? I'm sorry. Like, dude, that, you know what? I'm not an asshole for being upset about that. I'm not an asshole. People should care about other people. And when you make a promise to somebody, you deliver it. And I'll deliver it in the comments when I fucking find their names. Anyway, smoking area. We went over there and <laughs> smoked weed. <laughs> hey, there's Thunderbird. Vroom, Lacey's head. Vroom. That's not what it's. Zoom. It's zooming. It's a bird. It's flying. Every wing coaster should do that. If it doesn't do that, then it's not, in my opinion, a wing coaster. Shit. God, this drink is so potent. It tastes like I'm just drinking like fucking THC oil with a hint of grape lemonade in there. Look at this setting though. When you ride Thunderbird in the only seat that matters, the front left outward seat thing, you get this fucking view, this beautiful view of absolutely nothing that is uh, Santa Claus, Indiana. Um, I'm walking down this path exclusively for the footage that you guys have been waiting for for a million years. And, uh, you know, and uh, here it is. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, but really, it is beautiful. And I, I really love the topography of this place. And I really, really wish something would just send a lot of money to these people to where they can expand and have a new coaster more than once every nine goddamn years. You know, um, that'd be nice. Uh, what, Voids 2006 fucking... Thunderbird 2015 and stupid ass gravy 2024. Like, I do not want to wait till 2033 to see them put in their SNS fourth dimension, okay? Like, stop that shit. Actually, that's a really lovely shot with the sun, like under the tracks and shit. If, if I thought I was a photographer or a videographer or cinematographer or person with talent, I would totally shout out that I succeeded there, but I'm not. So I'm going to continue to speak in theoreticals about my accomplishments because I have none. Down there, that little log flume thing, that thing is fire. Do not skip it. The, you need to ride it as many times as possible until you see legend coming in as you're going up that fucking lift hill. And you see where it's going horizontally like under its lift hill. It'll look like it's about to hit you when you're at the top of the hill. And when you're stoned out of your ass and then you see legend careening at you and it looks like you're about to die, it feels good, man. It feels good, man. That drop right there on Legend is one of the most underrated drops of all time. The laterals on this are absolutely stupid. And people probably are right when they say Legend is a better coaster than the It's a better coaster than Mystic Timbers. It's a better coaster than uh, in GCI's entire goddamn portfolio. That's what that is. And it's just, it's a dream. What, what, I have my wood coasters ranked. Um, what? Let me see this. Hold on. I, I, I'm curious about some shit. So my number one favorite wood coaster is Voyage as my number one. My number two is Hades 360, five. My number three is El Toro, eight. My, my number four is Ghost Rider, nine. My number five is Outlaw Run, six. My number seven wood favorite wood coaster is The Beast at number 21. Then Switchback at 22. Lost Coaster at 23. Phoenix at number 25. My 11th favorite wood coaster and 12th favorite are Raven and Legend. Okay? So that's the tier that these motherfuckers are on. Fro followed by Prowler, Mystic Timber, Zeus, Renegade, Mind Blower, Boardwalk, Bullet, Goliath, Zip and Pippin. I'm gonna finish this. Fuck it. Boss Thunderhead, 
Cyclops, American Thunder, Grizzly, Timberwolf, Cornball, Express, American Eagle, Apocalypse, Hoosier, Hurricane, Great Return. I don't care. I'm not going to finish. Um, so over here, remember when I, when I was telling you about the pavilion or whatever name, that whose name I forgot? That's where um, all the celebrities or whatever you want to call them in the, in the community of coaster enthusiasts were eating the food that you could have just eaten down, down the, the hill over at uh, Plymouth Rock Cafe. They just did it again. And I'll be honest, as a uh, Plymouth Rock cafe enthusiast uh i'm good with that the food slaps it's good shit and um as you can see this nighttime footage is absolute dog shit <laughs> i mean night nighttime footage on gopros is so bad and i've tried everything they told me to change the fps to 30 and shit they told me to like change some iso this and that none of it works in fact every suggestion i've ever gotten on how to improve nighttime gopro footage made the footage worse it's dog water anyway you can see like the single light it kind of it kind of has its own little aesthetic that honestly kind of looks neat and it's probably only because i'm absolutely marijuana out of my fucking tuberculosis right now whose silhouette of a head is that is that colton i guess yeah all right let me drink this holy god i'm getting my fucking rum too one sec please oh shit man mm. Yep, that rum still tastes like <clears throat> tastes like thunder shit. Where's my water? Yeah, there it is. Wow, that's awful. All right. Well, anyway, um, I know most of you can't afford the fifty dollars. Um, wait, it sounds like I'm being condescending. Let me try this again. I know most of you aren't crazy like us to where you would be willing to spend fifty dollars to for an American coaster enthusiast membership or some equivalent, just so that once a year you can be F5-ing eight minutes before the tickets go on sale to ride the, uh, a, wood, a, a wooden roller coaster in a fucking city called Santa Claus. But I ask you to do at least half the effort and come to this amusement park at night and ride the voyage. Just come on like a Friday. Like, that's it's no big deal. It'll be a fucking walk-on. It won't look anything like this fucking bullshit. In fact, it's kind of ironic that we're sitting here F5-ing early to get tickets to an event where you have to wait this long, which entirely misses the whole point of the ERT they are trying to do in the first place. And anyway, you just come on a not this, and you're not going to have to wait on any of this. Like, it, you won't see people between you and the voyage other than some employees and the people waiting on the next train and shit. So do that once at night, because the flight of this roller coaster through the woods in any format, and it's worst, is one of the best experiences you'll have in your entire life. Um, I saw a carpet bagger and shit. He was saying, look, I hate wood. I hate roller coasters, specifically wood coasters, but even I acknowledge that's a 10. I love him for that, and he's right. If you have any interest in wood coasters at all, ride this roller coaster, and you have accidentally just committed to spending six figures for the rest of your life. There's Rita on the right. Fucking love Rita. Um, on for the rest of your life on this hobby because it's the best thing you've ever seen. Look at these people. Look at all the smiles in these people's faces. These are all people who either are or came with crazy people like me who were F5ing for fucking tickets the previous December, six months in advance. So you have to be doing this shit in December just so you can be with these other people celebrating this hobby, having a good time. Look, there's nothing better than being a roller coaster enthusiast if you have any inclination. Dude, I was like having this awesome conversation with the fucking, uh, this, this girl doing Airy Force One Ops, and, and you can see she was like becoming an enthusiast even further, who already was through the job and now through the experiences, is getting more intense and like celebrating life. We celebrate our lives with this hobby. I'm high as fuck, and thank you for watching this abomination. If you're, yeah.